Yeah, definitely got to be safe out there, Dave, but I would imagine a lot oh, of people yeah. hitting the water for sure. Oh, for sure, and especially important this time of year where the snow is still melting and yep. then we've had all this rain going on and that type of thing. Well, speaking of big rain, we already have a severe thunderstorm cooking. Take a look at this. This is our Lookout Mountain camera. Denver's right here, and you see this big cloud out here. That's about 88 miles due east of Denver right now. Let me show it to you on the satellite. Not much cooking across the state. It's this little complex way out here. It's in a little town called Cope right now, and there is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for that. Could have half dollar size hail and 60 to 70 mile per hour winds out of this, and it's not moving very quickly. So I imagine uh, folks in the south side of Cope are going to get quite a bit in the way of rain. Could have some minor flooding going on with that. I'm picking up a couple of echoes on the radar coming in out of Estes Park here, but nothing's really holding together yet. If we do see a thunderstorm, that's probably where it will come from with moisture kind of just flowing over a high pressure ridge, which is locked down here over Arizona and New Mexico. Now around this ridge, it's picking up moisture out of Mexico, but it's also pulling in dry, dry air from California right into Colorado. So those two things are battling. We're getting a little trickle of moisture coming up enough for a few storms but really not enough for a washout or anything like that. So this afternoon after about two, we could get a few high base storms over Denver. Severe storms already popping out here over the eastern plains. And as we go through the evening tonight, we could still have just a few sprinkles or uh, oh, a light thunderstorm here uh, till about about 10 o'clock or so. And the stronger ones will be down in southeastern Colorado at that point. So severe thunderstorms just east of Denver out over the eastern plains going on. 94 for Fort Collins today in Golden. You're looking at 90 degrees and it should be about 90 in Castle Rock and Parker as well. So a hot day for us. Upper 90s in the southeast. In the mountains, we're looking at 80s and like Aspen could go to 87 today. Can you believe that? Grand Junction 100 and the rest of the folks rangely down to Cortez in the 90s out there on the western slope. So for today, 92 degrees in Denver with late day storms. Not severe for us. They'll probably be more gusty than anything else. However, just east of Denver, all the way out to the Kansas line, we have a moderate to slight chance of thunderstorms in the green shaded area, hail and wind the main threat out here in the yellow hail, damaging winds, and maybe one or two isolated tornadoes, believe it or not, will pop up. Cold front comes through tonight, drops us to 86 tomorrow with a few evening thunderstorms, and we all know what tomorrow is, right? The big Taylor Swift concert uh, 630 should be in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees with a, about a 20% chance of afternoon showers. So take your rain gear. You may need it 84 on Saturday and then bam, we're right back into the 90s on Sunday through the better part of next week again. So we went all, all the way through June and most of the early July without any 90s and now we're just yeah. going to add them all up here as we get into the second half of the month. In the spirit of Taylor Swift, your weather knowledge is bigger than the whole sky. Day. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> all morning long. All I morning it. long. It's probably going to continue tomorrow as well. Sure. You're all the right. man. Oh, you're the man. <laughs> all right. Coming up, cleanup efforts continue after a tornado hit Highlands Ranch at the end of June. Many of you know that. Where you can still drop off tree limbs this week. Thank you.